how to throw a hat on. It's a bad hair day. I know y'all don't respect the opinion of nobody without a hairline, so I had to protect that, John. What's poppin', YouTube? Full job we're gonna do CM9, so we're gonna do CM9 today. Uh, and I'm excited to do this review because I am a fan of you, Gotti. Yo, Gotti. <laughs> My roommates call him Toe Gotti because he got a toe head. But, you know what I mean? That's not my opinion, you guys. It'll come from me. Yeah. CM9, Cocaine Music number nine. This is the South Memphis Rappers ninth edition to this Cocaine Music series. And it begs the question Does rapping about drugs ever get old? And I don't, I would have to say, Fuck! No, you had the wrong channel, bro. Um, you're on the wrong channel if you ever think of rapping about drugs ever gets old. I love trap music, it's in my veins. No, I don't trap, but it gets the, it gets the people going, to be honest. Trap music gets the people going. CM9 is a fully fleshed out album. It's 11 tracks deep of unadulterated hood nigga experiences and perspectives. I would go so far to add another bullet point to that it's full of successful hood nigga experiences and perspectives. Uh, he's been in the game for a while now. The game for a while now, long past the average self life of a trap rapper, and it's because he makes great music and he makes hits. That's nothing you can really argue against. He has been consistent and put out music that has become really successful and bled into the mainstream. Still, been very true to his roots. He's very much a South Memphis rapper, a trap rapper. And he's really, he's a hood star, you know what I mean? And you gotta respect that from, uh, from Yo Gotti. He's really a hood star. At the exception of one or two tracks, I listened to this how this album all the way through. And that was because of the cadence. It, it had a flow to it. It didn't, it didn't come off stale at all because Yo Gotti was smart enough to break up the cadence. He, he avoided the mistakes that a lot of trap artists make by having three or more cons consecutive really hype amped up tracks together you know and that doesn't make for good music that doesn't make for good listening experiences because it's the absence of sound that adds value to sound it's the rest it's the rest before the turn as track that gives that turn track the best value you know you have to have that breathe moment so the listener can be hit in the fucking face with the next banger, you know? And I, he did that very well, he spaced it out. He had tracks like, um, he had that track featuring Kodak Black that was right before that Blah 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 track that was much more subdued, that had a slower pace and really let you rest and take it all in. To be honest, uh, Cocaine Music 9 is not really an album that you rage with your friends, right? It's it's not like that. It's a ride out song. It's a ride out album that you play in the car at max fucking volume. It's that type of album. And the features were great on this album. He had Kodak Black, uh, YF, YFN Lucy, which I fucking hate to like because he really can't sing. He's not a singer. He's not singing. It doesn't sound good, but it's, it's enjoyable in its format, you know? He's been on good ass tracks and I enjoy it. But when I isolate it in my brain, when I isolate Lucy in my brain, his voice, I'm like, yo, this motherfucker, this nigga can't sing. I can sing. Put me on the track. He had Kanye, Big Sean, Quavo, and two trains, two trains, and two chains on one track. And that's phenomenal. That's uh, feet on its own and it didn't sound too it didn't sound messy it didn't sound unnecessary and he had black youngster on there very flashy appearance on that track and it was very disappointing to me because i know black youngster because i know black youngster could do better i know for a fact he can do better I'm, I'm a fan of black and he just did not have it he, his energy wasn't there and the bars wasn't there it was just like uh this shit is disposable you know <laughs> It was his energy wasn't there, you know. You want that, yeah, bitch. Yeah, what you gonna do, bitch? Yeah, you don't got no money, you broke, bitch. Yeah, your mom broke. Fuck your mama. Fuck your aunt. Fuck your auntie. Fuck your auntie, auntie. Fuck your grandma. Fuck your kid. Fuck your son. He ugly. I hate him too. Fuck that nigga. I throw money on him. Fuck that bitch. Little bitch. 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 
it just wasn't there. It wasn't there at all. <laughs> that was my that was my black youngster impression. Track the final track on this album was a true narrative, and it was painted in a way that only a hood nigga knows how to. And I liked it. It was very personal. It was very personal. Obviously, it was his story, it was his experience. It really helped the listener see these things that he was rapping. And I really appreciate that because that's what I value from hip hop. That's how, that's how I determine what I want to listen to, who I like to listen to, whoever can make a narrative, who, whoever can paint a picture with words. It's how I, it's who I like to listen to. It's who I want to see future projects from. And he did that on this track. And it was it was a lengthy track, but it was rightfully lengthy because this is not a long album. It was only 11 tracks long. But that final capstone track, it felt like a finale. It felt like the end, right? And this is how I know when I like an album. When it's the end of the album, and that last song is over, and you're like, that's it? Dang, I wish I, wish I could hear more, right? Cause that's how I felt at the end of the album. I wanted to hear more. I was like, this is too short. I want more from, I wanted more of this project, not just from New Guide. I wanted more of this theme, this project. And that's how I know I like this album from the, the quality of these tracks, the replayability of these tracks. Um, I would have to give CM9, Cocaine Music number nine, a B plus. And that's only a, because I wouldn't give it an A because it, it didn't have any hits. Uh, a album has a hit, at least a hit on there. A, tra a track that's gonna blow up and bleed into the mainstream. And it, it just didn't have that. And plus, the tracks on this album were uniform, had this had a uniform listenability and replayability. It wasn't one track that was way more than the other. It wasn't one track that stood out to me specifically. There's one or two that was like, okay, these are the best out of this 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 group but they all had a uniform feel and value to me i do appreciate this album man i, I really like yo Gotti as an artist he's very inspirational you know this is the type of music i play when i'm in the gym or i'm pooping or i'm just playing call of duty it's just that type of music and um yeah i look forward to any other future projects from you Gotti. every time man every time and yeah man Thank you for being here with me in this review. Uh, if you have any future like albums you want me to review or any suggestions, put them in the comments below. And if you liked what you saw here today, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, I always appreciate. I I really appreciate the support. I never thought I would get more than like 50 views on these. You know, and I just appreciate you guys because you. You come here. You like what I say. You you know you find value in the things I say. And that's crazy to me. Um, so yeah. Peace.